still in South Africa, the uh, nation is banking on its latest auction of mobile internet spectrum to lead to a wide range of economic benefits. Uh, South Africa hopes to unlock the nation's digital potential, raise vital funds for the Treasury, and give impetus to the advance of key structural reforms. Joining us to discuss further is uh, Toyo Iwetong, who is an uh, associate with Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Good morning, Toyo. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Oh, so first, just for those who may be unaware, what is internet spectrum? Oh, yes. So um, before I even go into the technicalities of what an internet spectrum is, I'd like to take us like, um, on a quick throwback. Yeah. So remember when like, we were young and then we take out these um, bottles and use a pin and a thread and then send it to someone else and then <laughs> put, uh, put it down. So like when you speak to it and yeah. then the other person puts it in their yeah, ear, the the yeah. we never used to like know the um, technology behind that. We just used to feel like our voice travels through that thread. So now back to your question. Yeah. The, the spectrum is just like um, a frequency in which um, transmissions are made from one point to the other. Okay. So like that's in an overview of what the spectrum is. So what about the summary of the auction process that South Africa went through to get to where they were, uh, where they are right now? Yeah, that's very interesting because, so before I even go into the auction process itself, yeah. I need to understand that even be, there are like other um, processes that are used for this allocation okay. aside the auction. The yeah? spectrum allocation, yes, right? Yes, spectrum right. allocation, right. yeah. So you have um, the allotments. For instance, you have proposals. But then we've looked at it that over the years, proposals like has not been effective because at the end of the day, you get to allot to applicants with the person with the best proposal right. as against the person with the um, capacity to handle these um, these um, challenges. Okay. So now I'm looking at the, your question now. Yeah. On the um, allocation, yeah. it was done in three phases. Okay. Yeah, three phases. So now the first phase, the first phase, this is very interesting because for the first phase, they made it open to just the lower league players. There were about four of them. And then they took it up to the second phase. Now, the second phase, they added the big players. And the big players, I'm talking about MTN and Vodacom. So at this point, they all did the auction. And at the, at the end of this auction, we saw that Vodacom had 5.1 billion um, rand. Sorry, 5.4 billion rand, uh, MTN 5.2. And then combination of the remaining four um, small players had a total of 3.9. And then the last phase, which was the third phase, was like the allocation of the frequency itself, where we see Vodacom got 110 megahertz, MTN got 100 megahertz, and the combination of the remaining four had about 96 megahertz. All right, so how does this, as far as, so that's the bidding process explained, thanks for that. Unlocking the potential here, what, what's, what, what, what are we seeing, what can be, what can yes. be achieved? I mean, 5G, um, prior to now, we're on what, 4G? Right. And um, we're experiencing like faster internet compared to what we're used to, which is the 3G. So um, on its um, best potential, a 600 MB video will be downloaded in 2 minutes and 18 seconds with the 4G. But with the 5G, yeah, a 600 MB video will be downloaded in 36 seconds. That's about 75% faster. faster. Like, so yeah, and um, the speed is going to help us in terms of... Um, Efficiency. We see Africa um, springing a lot of start tech startup here and there, and then yeah, on an overboard view, this is really going to help the economy as a whole. All right. And so, what about what was South Africa's telecom sector? I guess before, before, before this advent of this increased uh, faster spectrum and so on, what it can provide? Yeah. So um, there was a little bit decline in revenue as against the voice calls because I mean, right now people really make use of the alternative um, source of calling. I mean, your WhatsApp call, FaceTime audio, basically internet calls as against your normal regular call. So like this is an opportunity for them. This is an opportunity for them to tap into this 5G in order to like increase their revenue. So they have to now focus on working on the internet calls to make it more efficient in order to uh, make up for the loss of revenue over the voice calls. Mm. Can we talk about the difference? I think things, you mentioned the number of players involved, um, about six players or so in South yes, Africa. Yes. There were just two players, or else there was yeah, three yeah. or so in Nigeria, and then it got whittled down. Um, why, why, why that difference? Okay. What do you, how do you explain? So I, I need to like, make this known that the telco um, industry is very capital intensive. Yep. So it's not like for Nigeria, it was close to just these certain three people. That's uh, Fabak, um, MCN, and Ethel. But then it was an open bidding, but these were the three players that came in for the bid. And um, 
they all got in aside Ethel. Right. So it was just allocated to just the two of them. Okay, okay. And so anyway, at the end of the day, this is a, it's beneficial to the continent as far as what uh, South Africa, Nigeria, oh, yes. and all these South other South Africa and Nigeria, I mean, especially Nigeria, because this bidding has been done since um, December, and what, we're in March right now, and you can even see CBN trying to even support, saying they're giving preference to Telco in terms of FX, given that most of their equipments are being imported. Mm. So yeah, that's, uh, we've, there's even like a touch of government support. So yeah, it's, it's pretty fair. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Toyo uh, Ewatan, Associate with Financial Derivatives Company Limited, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Appreciate you for having me.